And we are live. What is up, kids and cubs? Welcome back on the Wolverine 114. And we are back, about to start up a brand new game that just came out, like, what, a day or two ago? Uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Madan. Uh, or Madan. I don't know. We'll probably hear it when we... When we go in there. Uh, but this is made by the same people who made uh, Until Dawn, which was an incredible game that I watched all of the paths for before I actually got to streaming. So I love that game, but I'm probably never going to stream it because I know everything that happens. And also I got this, but that's besides the point. This was on sale for 15 bucks, and I was like, it's normally 50, so I might as well. <laughs> um... But yeah, uh, it's also like 30 bucks. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I do remember seeing the trailer at uh, E3 when we streamed that. Um, and so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this. Uh, let me see, how is, how is my controller doing? Two bars. Let me, let me grab a cord and plug that in real quick. So now, let's actually get into this. Also, I, if it's anything like the first game, uh, I'm going to be absolutely terrified. So <laughs> that's going to be a thing we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, this is also the return of horror Sundays after I haven't done it since we since we went on break <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be interesting I'm I'm intrigued I'm a little nervous I've heard some middling things about the game uh, reviews haven't exactly been incredible but I don't know how Until Dawn was received, and I really loved that, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll form our own opinions. The Dark Pictures Anthology. Also, where I live, it's still, like, really bright right now, even though it's, like, 5.30 in the evening, but... I mean, that's not weird. I don't know. But here we go. Uh, well, is that really dark for you guys? Let me know. Let me know if it's too dark. Because something changed on my computer screen and it got darker. Um, so I don't, I don't know. But hey, we're going to go with this. Yeah, 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 whatever. I've got to actually go all the way down. Oh, I can just skip to end. Yes. No games ever put that in anymore. I'll raise the brightness just slightly. Uh, single player story. We're going to be playing by ourselves this time around. Ooh, spooky. Actually, you know what? Turn the lights up just enough so that you can see my face, but it'll still be a bit of an eerie atmosphere here. A uh, new story. Chinese market, China South Sea. Whew. <laughs> I 
going into horror things is always like uh. also i'm just terrified of open water anyway so i don't know if that'll play a part in this i know it's on a ship so man of madan madan whatever we'll we'll see <laughs> this World War two or Vietnam sounds like it might be one of the world wars it, we've had similar uniforms. a little while. Or we had similar uniforms, I should say. It, it's changed since then, but... This looks World War Two era. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, uh... Okay, cool. I didn't know if there was a pause or not. Uh, on. There we go. Uh, yes. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Oh god, where's this going? Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do it, you pay. We got a question to ask the tiles. Uh say nothing. Will I be rich? I uh, I oh, guess I shit. just wanna know about my son. It picks Will he, after uh, Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Doesn't give me much time to choose. Okay. Uh, bamboo tile or dragon tile? Heart or brain? Uh. Oh, the longer I hold down on it, this the selection. Um. Let's go with. Dragon tile? Look at the tile. Tell me what you see. Red? Oh, I can hold to pick up objects and use this to examine. It looks like a fish? Ooh, swimming. <laughs> Your fortune may come from any direction, like a mysterious wind. But when a wind like this may blow, death and doom are sure to fall. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Traits updated. Selfish, altruistic, reckless, insecure. Oh yeah, this was this was how they laid it out for in Until Dawn as well. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah, think you got the stuff? You know, be need a pony that the gun. Can do better than your friend. Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. Timer shows how much time you've got left. Okay. Oh god. 
Yeah, this these games are basically entirely quick time events. Um, I'm trying, all right. Oh boy. Oh. Looks <laughs> like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? Why am I wasting my time on this idiot? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Chuck and Charlie. Right. On a military ship carrying bodies. I recognized the actors from the first game. I don't recognize these ones yet. I think the first game had Hayden Pantier, Rami Malek, the dude who uh, who played Agent Ward on Shield. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Well, crates with skulls on them are never a great sign. It's never a crate sign. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, where's my, where's my 50 cent? 50 cent? What 50 cent? Come on, man. Hey, fuck off. Buddy. Nobody pushes me around. Whoa. Oh boy. The other dude looked more drunk than I was. At least he sounded it. Uh oh. Is this like the gremlins? You don't. Expose them to water? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, it's more like Frankenstein, apparently. Oh, no. It's oozing. It's oozing. Oh, God. And we've already got weird shit happening. Great. Oh, now this is gonna infect the bodies. Suddenly, we're gonna be, uh, dealing with zombies, probably, or some shit. Sedation? What? Why? In the first game, it set it up like it was just going to be a typical slasher plot, and then it kind of went in a crazy direction, so I wonder if this game's going to set it up like that as well. Oh, I can move around. Okay. Also, it looks like there's a tiny bit of a frame rate issue, like, on the actual console. To pops come back soon. So, if you guys are seeing a little bit of a stuttering thing, uh, that that ain't the that ain't the stream. <laughs> All right, so we're already in the thick of this. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Okay, we're already in this. <laughs> oh boy.
Whew. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting to already be in the thick of this. I can't inspect anything. Just the body, I guess. Okay. I'll try not to get anybody killed, but... I don't know how this game's gonna work. Is this blood on the floor? It wouldn't wouldn't surprise me if it was. I don't know, it doesn't sound wet. So. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Get me out of here already. What the hell's going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. So I guess this is where it would have been co-op if I hadn't if I had another person. In that private, Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a man- Oh, Brig 10 days approved. Uh, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl. Steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Huh. Okay. Wonder if I can get the combination for that anywhere. Monday, Arthur, private petty theft, one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, items recovered and returned to owner. Uh, Wednesday, David Davis, uh, private trespass, two days brig, found off limits and cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, flagrant disregard for orders. Uh, PFC Lewis Brand Public Intoxication One Day Brig Found Drunk and Acting Inappropriately for U.S. Army Personnel While on Shore Leave uh, Robert Reed Public Intoxication One Day Brig Found Drunk and Acting Inappropriately So Found Drunk and Acting Inappropriately Brawling But there wasn't a fight yet Dude shoved him, but... And Joseph Robert, 10 days, drunk and inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel, signed to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. Huh. That seems a little odd. Why is all this blood here? Something happened in here? Okay. <sighs> That's excellent time with the heartbeat. Oh god. Oh god. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Stay calm.
What do you mean, what the hell? Huh! What was that? That was small, small child. Small child. Why is small child on military ship? Okay. Do we want to be going in here? Ah! Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. Okay. 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 Oh, he got shot up. I feel like we should have checked out that door. Hold on, can I go back? Nope. Okay. Oops, I missed a thing already. Damn it. Maybe it was good that I missed that. God damn. Another thing? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. He doesn't look like he died like the other ones, though. Looks like his body, like, seized up on him. Huh. Also, sorry for screaming. It'll probably happen quite a bit. <laughs> oh, that's how I walk faster. I figured there would probably be a way to walk faster, but didn't know. That's locked. Okay. Nah. Hey, listen, <laughs> how you doing? Me, uh. Eh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Cool. Mm hmm. Also, is the is the brightness okay? It's not too dark, is it? I I, I made my my view darker a little bit, but sorry, don't want to spoil myself with spoilers. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> and thank you for the lurk. It's very much appreciated. <sighs> I'm so, uh, terrified. Is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Your friend looks like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's get up on that. Yeah, fine. Charlie and Joe. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. No? You feeling all right? <sighs> yes, I'm creepily watching you. <laughs> oh, God. I, I like how he's like, you get a strange feeling around here. You know, aside from all the dead bodies and, you know, dead people. And there's the dude going insane. And, you know, just, just you, get this, you get a strange feeling here. I already passed this, okay. Okay. One dude shot, one dude had his throat slit. And others are just dead. Hello?
first one did scare you? What the the kid running by? Or the first dead body? What the hell? Charlie? Oh god no. Charlie! But he was behind me. What? Am I going insane? Is Joe going insane? He's holding the knife that Charlie had. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh. get a character killed? <laughs> Less, not the time! <laughs> oh my god. Mine was not super effective. Oh god. I didn't want to shoot him because I thought maybe I was like thinking it was Charlie. But. Or like thinking the kid. Or Charlie was a kid, but. I guess no. What the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna be screaming a lot during this. <laughs> also, hey Les, how you doing? I guess everyone on the ship is gonna end up dead somehow or another. And those main characters I was playing at weren't actually main characters. That's that's how it was in uh That's how it was in Until Dawn as well. People you think are main characters end up dying right off the start. Ooh, this is a this is a cool song, but it's probably gonna Sean Ashmore. Oh, it's probably gonna be all uh, you know the copy of Ritz. Whew. Okay. Ugh. I don't know any of these names except for Sean Ashmore. <laughs> this is a dope song. I wish I could play it. This is just disturbing. Yeah, uh, I'm 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 good, Les. I'm just terrified out of my mind from this game. <laughs> this is like a song I would normally listen to, just on my own. <laughs> Hasn't even started yet? Great. 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 <laughs> Although I, I assumed, because the same thing with Until Dawn, like, it started out, like, really weird and a little terrifying, but then, like, it ramps up as the game keeps going. Hello. And welcome to my repository. Hi. Oh, is this guy doing the uh, Peter Stormare role in this game?
Peter Stormare was kind of like a narrator that ended up serving a purpose in the story in Until Dawn, but... I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories right. such as this one. Cool. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are <sighs> well knowing me they're they're probably not gonna last <laughs> you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable yeah so this is just the peter stormare character live and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we nope wonder how this guy's gonna fit into the story As in life, peter stormare was like the voice inside the head of the, the choices you make of the killer affect others i'll be keeping a close eye on your progress it's not my place to interfere but i might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint here's one for free there are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. I like the totems and Until Dawn. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. All right. Or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Mm-hmm. Or whatever mess you've made. That's probably closer to how it's going to be. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm really easily scared. <laughs> so this is going to be... This is going to be a ride. <laughs> Brad, Alex's brother, innocent, witty. Duke of Milan. Alex, motivated Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> uh. I wanted to. I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know, I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, <sighs> you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? No? <laughs> don't split the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Okay. Uh uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Okay. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And <laughs> the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I gotcha. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, uh, <laughs> I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Relationship updated. Okay, cool. I don't know what the top or the bottom one means. What if I select it?
Okay. Traits updated? Envious, truthful, eager. Hey. So, uh, hmm. Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just a uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Um Cautious. Are you sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Bearing updated. Okay. <sighs> Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless, excited. Conrad, Julia's brother, relaxed, cooperative. Sean Ashmore. <laughs> This is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. Oh, that's. Watches this. Oh, that's weird. Lady killer, right here. I'm used to him having. Good to finally meet you, Conrad. An accent. <laughs> little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah. Uh, likewise. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Oh no! Wait. I'm... Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah cool. Hey. No, I was I was thinking of a different actor. <laughs> he looks really similar to another actor, but this is this is the guy who plays Iceman. Um. Right on, radical. I like the cut of your ship. He still sounds weird though. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Uh Um no actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. <laughs> nice. Oh god. Let me pop your cherry together. Let me just uh which is Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and of course there's the other girl Where's to the press bucket skipper in here. Captain of the Duke of Milan, courageous, impatient. Caused some drama. Potentially. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, yep. I think so. Uh, you're <laughs> Easy there, Conrad. <laughs> Alright, so Conrad likes her. Forget name. Fliss. Brad's getting sick. Get it all out. Lie down. Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> what about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Oh, uh, yeah. So are we gonna be going into yeah. the shipwreck of... The ship that we were on, that everything died on? Feast your eyes on this. Huh. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss! We found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. 
technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. <laughs> yeah, we should follow the rules, but we're in a horror movie, haven't you heard? Um... No one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as hmm. you're quick. Don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Oh, boy. This is gonna be interesting. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few... I'll set up the tank. The boys will do the final check. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Still my plan. Now. Okay. Hmm. What am I looking at? Uh, I don't like binoculars in horror things. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Wait, can I? I can talk to her. You're good to go. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis. <laughs> um. But if it was a competition, I'd still do pretty good, right? <laughs> well, if you adjust for inflation, gotta oh. say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Cool. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. Ooh, tension already brewing. Wonderful. We'll final steps together. Cool. Not as tense as the first game, but first game it's like, oh, people died, and it's your fault. It's like, okay. Good, good to know. Wait, hey, why'd I turn that you know off? How to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Yeah, let's let's turn that back on. Can I? Can I? Can I do that? Why did I turn it off? Oh god. Did that affect something? <laughs> How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. <laughs> hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Did more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Um, <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm real tense. Julia left anything on the mainland. <laughs> Why am I going through her shit? It only smelled as good as it cost. <laughs> it's made her happy. Hmm. Salem Witch Trials. Else? Nope. Okay. Oh, wait. Here's the thing. Locked. Okay.
Future pages. Premonition. High and dry. So he's going to wake up with everyone gone. Wait, yep, I, I know, I already looked at this. Okay. And it looked like it was pretty late as well. Felicit Dubois. Felicity? Um, the, in the instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes. Uh, okay. I mean, hey, that's a diving license, I guess. Tanks are ready. Tanks are locked. Ding. Really? Really? I'm a dude. Really? So we've already set up that the authorities don't know this is here. And so when things go wrong, won't be able to contact anybody. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces the compression time on your way out. State of the art. Cool. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver. You gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why is I want to make, I wanna make him a, a nice forgot. dude. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Blitz is up to. You behave, Connie. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I don't... Let's take that. Bearing updated. Took the bang stick on the dive. I got the bang stick. Right, yeah, I heard that about you. Good to go. <laughs> you ever have to Just use one? The rules, on a shark? Please. Nope. Should probably also take camera. that. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. <laughs> what was that face she made? Just like. Hey. <laughs> All right, now it's time to dive into the murky depths where most likely it's gonna have something to do with what happened at the beginning of the game. Whoa. You good? And me with my fear of open water. Great. Oh, wonderful. Already. Just right, right off the bat, right off the bat. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. Not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. With how much supernatural shit's about to happen, That's I wouldn't take anything. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than That's what that. she said. Damn. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Oh boy. Howdy, Captain. 
You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. <laughs> Third in command. No. Freshening your cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Um Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Yeah. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Uh. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. <laughs> I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Hmm. Uh. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Oh, now I'm playing as Fliss. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. <laughs> Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Um. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got to booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up to top. Check you later. Hmm. Cool. Ooh. Picture. Oh, what the hell? Why do I keep these around? What the hell? Uninvited guests. Uh oh. Does she see something different in this, or is this just the. Okay. What's she say about her own license? Nothing. Oh, she puts it away. <laughs> Let's turn that back on. Weather looks clear. And leave that on to do its thing. Sorry if you hear any dogs in the background. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Uh oh. That's not good. Nope. No communication with Alex and Julia. Uh, nothing. Uh, I don't like the eeriness of this. <laughs> Like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Hmm. 
So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. All right. Um, can you do anything with this? Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Okay, <laughs> so what do I do now? Hello. We have unexpected guests. Stay quiet. I'll do the talking. Uh, what do you think they want? Or maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. I don't know. Just be on guard. Well, after the <laughs> clip of the guys with guns, I don't know. <sighs> that is not the Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. Hopefully, they're just. Uh oh. Uh. What are they doing? Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, ten bucks cover it? What? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it twenty. Dude, what are you doing? Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Dude, stop. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Literally told you not to say anything. Oh, uh, you're gonna get them killed. <laughs> or, you're gonna put me in a position to get them killed. <laughs> Maybe. Just a little bit more light. <sighs> oh boy. Let me guess the dead bodies of the crew? I'm hoping. That's a skull, so they've been here a while. What is... What's with the... Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. I don't know why that was so low. Blood in the water. Uh, ladies first. Oh, great. I'm Let's playing as Julia. Take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you? Oh. Okay, so something ends up being wrong with Julia. Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to- oh no. Uh oh. 
Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. I thought maybe it's a picture. Maybe it'll, like, be something I need later on. Oh, God. I think she's small. Oh, shit. Octopus. But how are you getting back? Oh, boy. That's out. Okay. Whew. Ooh, that was close. But I got something. You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. I'm just glad you're okay. Don't do that again, please. Oh, God. Alright. Searching in progress. One, two, three, clear. Ah. Base. Search mission, reconnaissance plane, Kowalski, takeoff, U.S. Air Base, island destination. They were on their way to help out a ship. Uh-oh. Bullets. Although, why does that have the full full casing of a bullet? Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. The bullet would just be the tip. Why'd the whole thing get fired? Good God. <sighs> Ugh. He's holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? <laughs> From the look of things, they knew they were goners. No, wait. I just came from this way. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Don't, don't check it out. Uh oh. I used the bang stick on that. Which means we don't have the bang stick anymore. I knew something was gonna happen. Fuck. Plane crash about high on my list of ways to perish. Oh boy, okay. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably shouldn't be moving that. Julia, my, my God. Just don't touch anything else, please. Yeah, yeah. It's time to leave. <laughs> oh, shit. Yep, just swim up, just swim up. Oh, shark. Okay. 
Hi. Oh God, Alex. It's a gray weed shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. All right, cool. <laughs> Although, I don't trust that everything isn't good. Okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just get it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We really gotta get up top. Ah, <sighs> damn. I shouldn't have told what? him early on. Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! Oh shit. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, uh. Decompress, because that, that's that's what it was, it was doing before. She was, like, clutching her chest, because they didn't decompress, and probably something happened. Oh, my God. This is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Okay, whew. Hey, what the hell is going on? Good. What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Ah, a grill. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Whew, okay. <laughs> so, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? Oh, what God. Know is, what you guys They're gonna come back. We found the plane, and it is huge. It's full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh... There's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And, like, they, they, they keep setting up things that are, like, you don't know if it's gonna pay off or what's gonna happen. Like, her getting cut and then the shark coming. It turns out it was not bad, but... You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Yeah. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of her. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe <clears throat> you'd say arrogant. What's your play and in all this? Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Special feature unlocked. You're doing well. Okay. <laughs> eh. And then the narrator's always like makes you uneasy because you don't you don't know whose side they're actually on. At least with Peter Stormare's character, you didn't. How well preserved was the plane? And, until it later on, where it's like you're doing great. <laughs> it was like traveling through time. Turns out he was actually kind of a good guy. Traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a great reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. 
Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since <laughs> he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Alright. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? I expected it to be cool, but that was... That was like life-changing <sighs> cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. Every trip we take together is memorable. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Uh, maybe if I had gone questioning, it would have gone further with that. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? <laughs> On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I can deal with children. Oof. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. I'm just, I'm just on edge because right. like now that everybody's here it's too nice the pad <sighs> maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here where'd you put it it's in your case okay I'll go get it hey I'm just ah uh, nervous you all right you seem kind of preoccupied Oh shit. There was something that popped up. I missed. <sighs> I gotta cycle back around to the thing that I missed. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Oh, okay. Got it. Let's go up. Oh, it was the thing that they took. Come here, Vixen. <laughs> Eerie tiger. We should get back. Right here. Alright, I don't know if that was a good or bad thing. This game gives me anxiety already. <laughs> There. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So, what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination. You think we could get there by tomorrow? <laughs> it takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into a rescue plane. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the loss. No, hey. They were respectful. Uh. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, 
Does what she does know about? You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Oh, God. They're not taking it yeah, seriously. I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Hmm. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say nothing. Uh, I don't know. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated <sighs> from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night. Oh, God. Sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Key of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, That isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So oh, good. They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts. Cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Oh, God. So gross. <laughs> okay, so who did it? The woman says, It was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, He's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper Ooh, creeps over. So it might be it might have been a good thing, but the door. didn't propose. And sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the uh. dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Super twist. Nice. Inspire. <sighs> you have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. We get after it. <laughs> okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Oh, God. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a <laughs> website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. <laughs> Following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. Oh god, it was during the rain that we saw that picture of the dude with the gun. So. Oh god. Oh boy. I'm nervous. Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell? Who the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh god, they're back. I knew it. the stick again. I shouldn't have ungagged anybody. God, what the fuck? He's got blood on him. What are you gonna do when you are free? Back for you later. Ah, shit. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Ah, shit, Conrad. Oh god, what the fuck? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Uh, say nothing. Conrad, it's usually best to keep your mouth quiet. I feel like I could have gotten stabbed right there. Be on your best behavior, little man. Yeah, just, just, just go with, go with what they want. Okay. okay. They have weapons we don't. 
They're untied. We're not. Well, they are, but... my brother um oh he might still be no, out i didn't oh is this when he gets is this when he wakes up oh, sorry all right turn around don't let them see your hands once we get julia back then we can take him by surprise okay they're coming So she's got the clippers. I have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Ah, oh, shit. I timed it wrong. I thought I hit it on six so that it would go to seven, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, no one's gonna notice that. Oh, it's Fliss looking at me. Could have killed him there, probably. Uh.
Oh, shit. Oh boy. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Okay. So I got away with uh Sit down. Over there. So I got away with uh right here. Sean Ashmore. Sit. Conrad. No. Arrêtez bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme-la ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. So this is probably following the formula of the last game. Olsen. It's going to set it up with a uh... Like these guys seem to be the main threat. But then it's going to switch to the supernatural afterwards. About this Manchurian gold. I mean, I honestly, I'd just say, hey, here's, here it is. <laughs> just, just tell him. Don't, don't try to do with anything. Oh, now I'm playing as Fliss. You think Connie's okay? All right, shut the fuck up. Yep. He tells you to shut up. You shut up. You know what I like to do? Nothing. That's right. Nada. Complete. Fucking silence. Get it? We get it. We get it. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. Jeez, guys. When he travel in the same waters. Dude, he just said shut the, the fuck up. They barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. The dude They're said shut up. The trap, and you set us there up. Are, Storm. What a cork in it. Ooh, I almost missed that. I almost missed that. Dude, the boat lurched. You come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. And this is where it's going to give me the choice. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. It's gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Um. Say nothing. But now they know something's wrong. I didn't say anything, but they should know that something's wrong. If we're going by any sort of normal logic. Oh shit. Thank you, Olsen. Everything's better when we have each other around. You get that? Don't you? Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh shit. Hey. Move it. Now. 
What about a? Uh... Oh, is that when? Uh... Don't don't say it loudly. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Stop fucking saying it loudly. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. Let's just shout out about the hidden crewmate that they don't know about. Cause enough damage to where we need to get on that boat, and we know what happened. Everyone's right? still alive. Things could have been quite different. I noticed. <laughs> Hope Connie got out of the storm. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off this time but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable i guess they will find out mm -hmm. true although it's probably better Find that he's creature, out of here than i'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come tempted uh <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Hmm. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as <laughs> it seems. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Oh, great. <sighs> Fuck you! <laughs> Um, I'm all just tense now. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Playing as Fliss now. Uh, we're gonna have to go inside the door, aren't we? know what that does but doesn't sound like it's a good thing Go. that one dude had similar leg tattoos to her I noticed as they were climbing might just be a cultural thing but Deadlift, thank you for the host, man. It'll pop up in a couple seconds, but... Thank you, how you doing, man? Oh, boy.
Okay. what we already saw on here. <laughs> this can't be good. Uh-oh. Dr. Bracelet. Definitely don't like this, especially not after we saw that forewarning of of uh, Joe and Charlie. Miller. What these guys want to do with us now? Oh boy. Mm. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you. Twitch Dad, thank you for the raid too. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Welcome everyone to Game with the Raid. I am the Wolverine 114. Thank you so much. I uh, play random games and today we're playing Horror Sundays. Uh, playing the Man of Madan, which is currently very terrifying. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys so much. I swear they were four. Hey, man, it's it's perfectly fine. <laughs> the numbers don't matter. Just the, the it's the the what? Well, it's not like the thought that counts. Is it the right? Whatever. It's the gesture that counts. There we go. <laughs> How you doing, man? <sighs> Currently coming down from just the latest jump scare and several of this game. Also, I'm sorry if I blow your ears out if I'm screaming, because. That this happens. Doing good? Awesome. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty of them. <laughs> the Especially now that we're on this ship now. Uh, ooh, Rainbow Six Siege. How's that going? Mm. Hey, <laughs> that I suck. Hey, every line? everyone sucks at some point. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. The fact that this ship has just been adrift for so long, like that wouldn't happen. It's been adrift since World War Two. What the hell is this fucking place? It's a ghost ship. Um. Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. Oh boy. Don't get any ideas, people. You can't just sit around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. Um. We call we Coast Guard. The Coast Guard but the Duke's radio is shot. Drifting scary ship, you say? Time to jump on board. Well, the the ship we were on was damaged and sinking, and pirates basically told us to get on this one at gunpoint. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating drift without it. Exactly. We need to get it back. 
those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. <sighs> Liz, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... <laughs> well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. <laughs> I like Fliss. I think she's my favorite character so far. <laughs> Very witty. Uh, Miss J. Rivera, apartment 2, 225 Lockhood, Cincinnati, Kentucky. <laughs> hey, baby doll, I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Uh... Three months, and I've been on some shore leave with the guys. Had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you. If you catch my drift. <laughs> How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you safe. This guy. Miller? That seems pretty spooky. Oh, is this Joe? I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around. But I've always got you with me. To keep me safe too. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic. We can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together. No, it's not Joe because Joe already had a kid. Um, it wasn't Charlie. Yeah. This is very strange. Glasses. Huh. Ugh, that cup looks disgusting. Oh, oh shit. I just realized Brad's gonna wake up and not be on the ship. Hmm. And that's where the. Hey, look! Oh, what's it called? Look the. The. What? Ah! Oh, the picture. That's what the picture showed us. What was that? One. Fuck. Hey, Twitch Mom! Hey, how you doing? Uh, y'all just missing in Iraq, 1947. Uh, worst gangland killing of 1947. Uh, missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq, the Hodgson expedition arrived. Excuse me. In the King of September last year with the with the stated goal of unearthing the... Oh, wait. Uh, no, I'm on PS4. Can I, can I not read the other side? Just, just turn it around? No? Okay. <laughs> I got this, and uh, The Witcher was on sale for $15. So... I grab both of these. Uh, no, I've I've got uh, I'm running it through my Elgato. I've got my own overlays and such set up. Is there anything here? Oh well, thank you. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to set this up as it is uh, without overlays. Also, I have sound effects, which are bloop. I didn't type it, but <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's a new thing. Also, I'm getting my emotes approved at the moment, so that should be ready either Monday or Tuesday. Um, yeah, this is the way out. Yeah, 
There's no other way out here. Smash this wall. Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. <laughs> Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Hmm. That would be smart. Anyone wanna help me out here? Anybody? Hello? <laughs> this is a big table. Could use a second person. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, shiny shoes! Thank you for the lurk, man! You're awesome! I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Oh shit. Ah, oh, the the icon popped up and I pressed X. Shit. Oh, damn it. Maybe it's better that Fliss is with the guys with guns. What's the... <laughs> like cuz cuz there's there's creepy shit here. Oh yeah, this is like this is like Telltale Games on steroids. Like Everything ha has to do with something. Wait, I shouldn't leave Julia. But maybe there's there's a thing I need. Uh, yeah, it's on all it's on all consoles. Uh, this is the sequel to Until Dawn, which is a really really great horror game. Okay, okay, I shouldn't go away from Julia. I should stay with Julia. Better in numbers. It's just so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up or oh, whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. Out of bounds, cargo hold. Oh boy. This game is so stressful. Ah! Bitch. Like this camera angle. Uh, nope, 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 <laughs> well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cap back if we're ever gonna get out of here. Also, uh, you can you can get characters killed, like permanently. How you liking this game? I'm absolutely fucking terrified right now, Skinny Stream. How you doing? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay. Let me get a. <laughs> oh boy. Saw the body move and I just immediately just nope, nope, noped it the fuck on out of there. <laughs> I identified problem areas of structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially with bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. Loved Until Dawn, and I've wanted to go replay it. Oh, Until Dawn was amazing. I saw basically every single pathway. This is very much similar to Until Dawn. 
Like almost almost down to story beats. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I had discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components I cleaned and added lead to the soldiers, which has stopped the equipment. The soldiers, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and should slow down the growth. Only played through UD once and wanted to replay it. Oh yeah, it's, there's so much replayability with these games because it's like, you know, you fuck up things and you, you make weird decisions and it's like, well, what's the other decisions? What if I didn't fuck this up? What if I do fuck this up? Like, what was that? Well, that's oh, that was Julia. Who are suspicious okay. when to be found. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hole for a big surprise party. <laughs> I think it's with anyone else? Nope, just me. It's a tiny skull. It's a little rat skull. Uh. Suddenly we're doomed. Keep it together. Yeah, you can do multiplayer. Oh my god, there's so much. Skipper's KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. It's, there's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right before we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud uh, real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. He said that there was some guy who made sure the coffins were... Put in one of the holds just right, real precise, not the treatment you get if you were any old grunt. Got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Uh, booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney like it was it was like ditch water. Uh, Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on 6 to check it out. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. Excuse me. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Oh, God. I don't want to check the lockers. <laughs> the lockers are scary. It's too fucking quiet. <laughs> I don't trust this. I don't trust this at all. I don't like what the frame rate may have been loading in. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a wall. Oh god. We have a clip. <laughs> Alright, let's pop this over. Um. It's a tiny skull. Little rat skull. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> 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 Thank you, skinny screen. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead and clip those moments. It's it's part of why I do this. <laughs> I'm uh, it's the whole reason I play horror games because I suck with horror. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's this dude. I'm dead inside, so I don't jump scare often. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Hey, Olsen. There's the distributor cap. Need that to get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Olsen's got his weapon now. Great. Think it's safe to grab it? We gotta go get it. Nope, there's Danny. And we know Danny's got a knife. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, there's Fliss. Arrête de crier, je sais d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Okay, so now Danny's got the gun. Oh god, I shouldn't have fucked up with Fliss. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This is where we can get ahead of them. Oh god. I got this. Don't shut the door. No, oh god. Oh, that's the... Uh... I mean, I get that game design-wise, you know, don't go back. But... Story-wise... Don't, don't, don't close off ways you could potentially escape horrific danger. To our crew, Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel for the rest of the duration of the voyage. The crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Copy to QM and AMS. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm completely uneasy at the moment. <laughs> Well, you didn't hear the bomb, 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 bomb. Okay. Stick close to Julia. How long have you been playing it? For about two hours now. We haven't been here before. It's the kitchen. You haven't been to the kitchen before. <sighs> oh no, why? No, no. But there could be something useful. Oh god. Jesus. Rats and me. Alex, mm. what is it? Yeah, that's not good. Also, sorry for the dogs barking in the background. Nothing I can do about that. Soup du jour, mademoiselle. As if you know your way around the kitchen. Please, relax. Don't messing around. R relax? Excuse me? You were kidnapped by pirates and brought into a haunted ship. Of course, you don't know it's haunted yet, but still. <laughs> Alright, what is this place? I'm 
think we gotta go through here. Oh, there's a picture. Uh, what's this gonna show me? Oh shit, Brad getting stabbed. Okay. So don't do the thing that'll get Brad stabbed. Let me see, can I... Uh... Who's, who's stabbing Brad? Looks like... Okay, it doesn't look like one of our guys. Also, this was... Yeah, that was if, uh... Wait, no, we're wearing those clothes right now. Oh, God. So that could still be a thing. <laughs> it's gonna show us moves. Whatever that thing is, stab, stab. <laughs> hey, Lolly. <laughs> I'll clip that one. Yeah, no, this is gonna happen a lot. <laughs> laugh at me. I'm, not, I'm not laughing at you. It, it may have been rats. Although, considering what we saw from the beginning. Alright, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Did you be beard? No, I haven't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> this is one frightened one. I do horribly okay. with horror, no. so. Oh god. Not my scene, you know. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. You gotta get out of here too sweet. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? <sighs> just bought Minecraft for PS4 and figuring out. Oh nice. I have it for uh, Xbox One. What is this? Um Uh probably shouldn't look at the caskets. Head diapers if you need to be. I'm not that bad, okay? I just, I jump scare easily. Something up ahead. What's the matter? Uh. Oh god, they're setting this up real nicely. Oh, hello, rat. Ah! What is it? Look. Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Okay. <sighs> We're good. It works. It works. Oh god, you clipped that one too. <laughs> hey, Booferstein. How you doing? <laughs> oh god, okay. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh god, they're setting this up real nicely. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even see my face. I was just, I was, I was too busy looking at. 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> Came in right at that scream. We're playing Man of Madame. Or Madame whatever the fuck right now. I I, I, I got jump scared at the, the thing again. Because I wasn't sure of the timing. <laughs> It was the same jump scare. <laughs> oh, God. It's fucking terrifying. I feel like you both made the same face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is... Oh, boy. <sighs> How you doing, Pooperstein? So, the ship is making me see things that aren't actually here. Or that are here, but I, it's changing them in my mind. Pretty good, and you- I'm- My heart works, for the moment. Uh, I'm terrified. I don't do well with horror. Roger that. I've always been the guy who doesn't understand why people watch horror movies to get scared. Oh, then I'm doing sense. this. But I'm doing this for your guys' entertainment. Not mine. <laughs> Why so spick and span? Trippy. Yeah. Up oh, there's dead body. Hello. I don't want to go near you. Um. I'm like, fuck. This is no time to be fucking around. <laughs> You're scared. You're alive. I guess so. Well, no, 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 that, I thought you were just gonna examine, we're not touching that, no, I get scared because the adrenaline makes it fun, see, I'm just not one of those people, <laughs> it's a rush, oh boy, I like the rush of doing something fun. Yeah, no, I'm not poking the corpse. Oh, shit, Olsen. Yeah, no, as soon as he... As soon as he leaned down to be like... Oh, I'm like, no, no, no. Skinny Stream, thank you for the host, man. You're awesome. <laughs> as soon as he leaned down to touch it, I'm like, nope. Nope. Oh boy. Where are you taking me? Now why would I tell you? It's got a point. Uh, I shouldn't have fucked this up. Tell me where we are going, damn it! This not the time to be headstrong. Take it two hits from my pen for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Back off. Leave that alone. Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to examine. I didn't want to pick it up. You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? Yeah, I don't. I don't even. I don't even smoke like that or anything. But I could probably use that right about now. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, back off, lady, don't touch the evidence. <laughs> I kind of want to wait for the dude with the gun. Oh no, he stops. He, he stays at a set distance. <laughs> you learn anything from Slur? <laughs> a dab will do you. A yabble dabble do you? Uh, no. All right, come out. Show yourself. Oh, it was just a bunch of things lined up, making it look like a dude. Damn it! But he's paranoid. Meaning, if I startle him, then he'll probably shoot me. So I got to be careful. These 
fucking and touch the marijuana is okay. <laughs> that mean I died these five times a day? Am I a ghost? Now, now, careful how much you do a day, because that can fuck up with your head. Madame. NG Madame. The man of Madame. Like, as as Slurp has forewarned, too much of it he's actually started to forget quite a bit. <laughs> what was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Open! <gasps> oh! You stay medicated, okay. Yeah. If it's if it's if it's medicinal, then yeah, take your dosage that you need to. But if it's recreational, then memory is horrible from so much of that. That's what I've heard from quite a few people. Some days any more depending on how well I'm doing. Some days just a little here to get me to eat or whatever. Okay. Why am I looking at this guy? Where eh. did all your friends go? Mm. I don't know. Short term memory is almost non existent. Oof. But we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now Always half naked chicks in these games. <laughs> right? And this isn't even counting earlier when like the girls were in their underwear. In fact, when did they change? Um, oh, I wanted to look at that. Fuck you. Gives me premonitions of the future, bitch. Those are pretty high, but my memory issues aren't linked to the meds. And that's actually helped me to sort out, sort of laser focus when I can do it myself. Oh, okay. The closet fall down. So, my theory is shape shifting entity. Maybe. Oh shit. Steve's keep reproductive indicas help you sleep and both are great for different kinds of pain. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not going we're not going that way. We're fuck. Yeah, I'm thinking shape shifting entity, because that would make the most sense. Considering different people see different things, and those different things tend to be... What the fuck? Those different things tend to be... Something personal to them. Such as, uh... Joe seeing his kid at the beginning. His kid that stabbed him in the chest. <laughs> it's a demon. Honestly, would not surprise me at this point. First game had fucking Wendigos, so. Is Minecraft Loki kind of hard? Depends on how good you are with survival games, what difficulty you set it to. Um, I hate it because I'm, I hate survival games. But I do love creative mode and just, like, making random shit. That's where I find fun in the game. Oh god, she's all alone. Is anyone there? I just can't find the things I need. Uh, I'm just mining everything. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a. Pro 
Nope, not looking in there. It's kind of like a progression thing. Or like, uh, you, you punch all the wood, and then you use that to make a wooden pick, and then you mine the, the rocks with the wooden pick, uh, and, and you get, you get that. <laughs> uh, can't wait to make my own whole world thingy and have friends set sheep, set sheep on fire, make a sacrifice mountain. I mean, if you want to, that sounds like a plan. I want to try this. It's, uh, it's terrifying, and everyone's gonna get a different experience, cause, cause of all the decisions and, like, timing things you need to do. There's so much replay value in this game. Mm. Nope, it can't. <laughs> Yeet chickens off it. <laughs> well, first you gotta corral the chickens, which is difficult can't put chickens on a leash unfortunately oh god that's the smoke that's the smoke that's not smoke it's steam it's steam from the steamed hams we're having steam clams oh i saw that ghost i don't like ghosties i don't like ghosties <laughs> But this, this mist was from the beginning of, of the game. Oh, Jesus. What happened down here? I'm not messing with the dead bodies. Uh-oh. 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 That sucked the Minecraft rabbit hole. Shit. Super helpful for my anxiety issues, though. Yep, here's Brad waking up. All right. All right, let's go. Careful, Brad. Don't get yourself stabbed. Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on. All right. All right, all right. All right, buck up. Buck it up. Buck it up, me boy. All right. Be it up, me. No, no, Brad, just stay on the ship. Just stay on the ship, Brad. Just stay on the ship. Don't, don't go. Don't do this, Brad. Just stay on the ship. I thought I could do the same. Help me with days where I need a big distraction. I legit bought it less than an hour ago. I love the music. It's hell Oh, yeah, the music in Minecraft is beautiful. Um, everyone gotta be a hero. Yeah. I love the music in Minecraft. Uh, the... Uh... Yeah, no, I, I just find it stressful when I have a bunch of things on me and then I die. And I lose all that shit that I spent hours getting. <laughs> I started last weekend when my son wanted to play but didn't know what to do. But for my son, well, I bought my Xbox years ago. Nice. Yeah, I, I got it for Xbox basically the day that it came out. Because I originally got it for... Uh, my girlfriend at the time, but then she actually got it that day, too. I was going to surprise her, but she had already gotten it. Okay, unauthorized areas. Uh, uh, Yeah, no, you should probably head back to the ship and wait there. Considering that now... Now there's men with guns who are frightened and insane here. I will... I got a jet. Leave me on lurk. Well, thank you, Skinny Stream, for stopping by. You have been amazing. And thank you for the everything that you've done. <laughs> and thank you for the shout out or not the, shout -out, the fucking clips I'm, I'm shouting you out right now <laughs> uh, let me stretch for a second ah. <laughs> anytime my dude anytime well not anytime specifically on Sundays because Sundays are horror Sundays
And this game is a lot scarier than the one I was playing, so. <laughs> Aha! Her bracelet. This is Julia's. They were here. Okay. They were here. Mm. Ah, shit. I can't go the way they went. Does that mean I have to go left over here? I hate how quiet it is. The sound design in this game is fucking spectacular. It's too good. It's freaking me out too much. Oh, this door was open. Oh, God, it's the mist. Oh, God, the mist. Yeah, we're not going in that door. That door's got mist coming off of it. Uh, oh, no. Oh, right, he hasn't seen the dead bodies yet. Don't touch the dead bodies. Just, just don't. Uh. Oh, no, 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 <gasps> How about no? This just seems like a bad place to be. Of course, going back into the darkness doesn't seem like a, a great place to be anyway. I just drowned. Oh, in Minecraft? Uh, stuff. You're hearing stuff. There's no way out of here. Why am I going this way? <sighs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep jumping to swim. They're close. Oh, Brad. <laughs> I'm not ringing the bell. Figured out I can mine underwater and forgot I had to breathe. Fair enough. Maybe they're through here. Uh, I don't trust strange gaps. I don't trust anything. Although, looks like that's the current puzzle I've got to do. Okay. I have a feeling that the fact that we're all barefoot is going to come into play at some point here. And everyone's going to cringe. <laughs> I hate being alone. Ooh, picture. Helicopter. Oh shit. But is that good or bad? So the good guys or the bad guys? I haven't started any world yet. I'm just playing this tutorial thingy. Steven Universe World, and I want to visit it so bad. Oh. Huh. I didn't know they did a crossover with that. I remember when they did a crossover with Halo and it was like, what? This is fucking insane! Uh. Ah! Gotta look for a sec, BRB. Okay. <laughs> Die, Lolly. I'll be here. 
alone and scared and terrified and freaked out. And, ah. Skeletons. There's a Skyrim world. Yeah, I remember when they added that too. Skeletons? Probably decayed off of them. They're from fucking World War II. Some sort of altercation. Nope. <laughs> you ready? Okay. I'll, I'll be here. Oh no! No, not drop down. Julia? Not drop down. Oh fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh shit. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're okay. We're not good. We're not good. We're not good. Whatever he just saw, we're not good. Bliss. Ah shit. Uh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no. What is going on? Does that mean Brad's dead? She's seeing his ghost. That's just a fucking bullet. Ah, fuck. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Zombies! No, 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 Does that mean Brad's dead? Was that actually Brad's body or was that Fliss seeing Brad when it wasn't actually Brad? What in God's name is this? Oh God. Oh God. I feel like there's some sort of reality warping force going after me here. Oh god, there was demonic rituals. Uh of course. Why wouldn't there be? Cuz that just makes all of the sense, doesn't it? Of course there'd be fucking demonic rituals going on. Just keep your head on straight. It explains a bit. Okay, hold on, let me see this. Someone's holding someone underneath the water, and sh and she's saying stop. Oh god, I don't want to pull the switch, but... It's so bloody. Oh god, it's a coffin. 
How about no? How about we just how about we just don't? How about we go somewhere else? Like, do I have to? Here's the thing. Probably something inside of it. Oh, or not. Just a painting? Okay. I don't know what that was about. I don't like that at all. Bloody footprints. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's time to go. <laughs> Let's not open this. Whatever the fuck it is. How about we just leave? Yeah, here's a door. Let's just leave. Let's not open the coffin to whatever horrors that may entail. What's going on? What's she doing? So what I was seeing wasn't what was actually there. It seems to be a common trend here. And there's the thing hanging from the ceiling. Which means... Oh god, don't, don't go near there. Was this where Brad was? This was this was where Brad was. Oh god. Patrol vehicle, military fourteenth division, Corinth Automobile. Oh boy. I'm nervous to do anything, because, like... Huh. Again, nothing in here. Because, like, any decision could lead to the death of your character. And I want... I want everyone to survive, but I think I may have already killed Brad. Rating procedure for handling hazardous chemicals. Cool. Storing chemicals leaks uh, the wire rope is cleaned and stored in any chemicals. Make certain that properly marked before that its color is visible so the cargo can be identified quickly. Cargo must be secured to avoid movement during passage. Pass to stowage with fresh water. Grease the drums. Help, help protect them. Water during stowage. I can hardly read that. Uh, holds where kept, chemicals are kept combustible. Okay, don't, don't. What the fuck? What happened? Uh oh. Did I, did I spend too long in the room? What happened? 
Oh, Brad. Fuck. Brad. Okay. Oh, Brad doesn't see her as as her. What the fuck? Oh shit. Brad doesn't see her as Fliss, he sees her as something else. It's like fear gas. Like, this is how a Batman movie with Scarecrow should be. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Olsen. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, you wouldn't wake up like that underwater. Because waking up, the first thing you do is attempt to breathe. Which wouldn't work underwater. That's not actually him. Ah. That's why. What? Oh. What the fuck? Oh no, just... I don't know what's going on here, but, like, the one who's drowning the other one is wearing the clothes that we know. Yep, that guy's got tattoos. It's someone else. Or does, does Alex have tattoos? No. Was that Junior, or was that Danny? No, Danny was... Da we don't know what happened to Danny. What? You... You okay? This thing's weird. It's fucking with everyone's heads. Thanks. I could have drowned. It's like a hallucination drug. You did the right thing. It was him or us. What? Why is he back up? It's like a hallucination drug, but at the same time, it's like. Oh, hello, Olsen. Like, it's, it's like a hallucination drug, but at the same time, like, people people are dying from this. Like, like physically, in ways that aren't just, like, drug-induced, whatever. It's actually, like, people... People get... Shredded. Come on! Oh, now I'm playing as Julia. I was, I was playing as Julie before. Fuck. He's here. What's the matter, Cream Bone? Don't talk about me anymore. Uh, it's a weird like combination between Olsen and Alex. Oh, that could have gone that could have gone real poorly. What does this mean? Is this over? Uh 
Uh, run, 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 run. Come on, Alex. Oh. Julio, what the hell? Get it open. What I'm assuming is that is Olsen. It's just she's seeing him as some sort of mixture with Alex. Okay, the gang's all back together. <laughs> Alright, safety in numbers. Although that's not the case at all in these games. <laughs> Can easily get singled out and picked off. Wait, where's Brad? Where's Brad? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, boy. But can we trust anybody? If, if this is a reality-altering entity, couldn't it be impersonating someone? I don't know. Every time we've seen it impersonate someone, it's been, like... Oh, it's been no. distorted. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Possibly. Considering the last game at Wendigo's, I have no fucking clue what this is going to be. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Okay. Sure. I'll take a hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political. You know, I mean, I figure. Supernatural. Yeah, I was, I was, I was throwing out the hallucinogenic Perhaps gas thing. To realize something. Yep, I have. But everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on. Hold on. One second. I need to check something. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, something was underneath my foot, and I had to check what the fuck that was. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Do it. Speak soon. Okay. Everyone is still alive, thankfully. I think. But I think. Is there, a, is there a way to save? I think it's just leave. I think it auto saves every decision that happens. So, uh.
Whew. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it there for right now. Holy shit, this game. <laughs> uh, this game is intense. Like, much more intense. Oh, now there's blood on this. Um. And just make sure it's safe. Um. If I get a load, it should pop up. Open deck, yeah. Okay. That's where we're at. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna call it there for right now. This game is fucking terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> this is probably the scariest game I've played on the channel. And wow. <laughs> I'm loving it. Um and I can only take so much at one time. But thank you all for coming. You've all been amazing. Uh, thank you everyone so much. All the, the links to all my stuff is uh, down below in the info tab. I will also pop up the link to my Discord, which is also down in the info tab, but this is the only one I have a command for. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm gonna call that right now. Oh boy, I'm just trying to like, it's starting to rain outside, because uh, getting that hurricane coming in. Uh, I'm just trying to regather my thoughts after everything that just happened. Whew, boy. But yeah, that's 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 been uh, so far the man of Madan. Oh my God. My anxiety has never peaked more in a game. <laughs> even even playing Outlast, it's. Whew, oh God. Okay. But yeah, we're going to call that right here. Let's see if there's anybody to raid at this very moment. Who uh, Who's online? Who's doing some stuffs? Whew. Is, yeah, Skyshot's still playing. Uh, she's playing Prey, which has been a thing on the channel for a while. but uh, Or was a thing on the channel for a while, but then I moved on to other games because I got kind of bored. But, ah well. Um, I'm gonna set all that up. Hope you guys can join me on this raid because it would be awesome. And also, she hasn't streamed in a long time. I'll give her some love. Oh my god. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> We're getting back to more of this next week with uh, Horror Sundays. But yeah, I'll see you around.